Hello everyone, welcome. Today is day two of our very random and exciting road trip. Thanks everybody for coming along. Today we got up and we started our day with the free breakfast in the hotel. I'll give you a little overview of that. They had this make your own pancake section which i've never seen before i always see the make your own waffles but make your own pancakes it was like this little machine you pushed a button and the um the pancake dough came out and it it flattened as it went along and it came out the other side we thought that was really quite neat we did enjoy this breakfast and uh we then ended up just packing up and shipping out of the hotel for the day so the first thing that popped up was this giant bucky's which being from Canada, we've never seen this before. I've seen other people do videos on it, but we've never actually popped into a Bucky's. So as I've heard it described, it is basically a Walmart attached to a very large gas station. And it was the largest gas station I've ever seen. Now I did go inside looking for some socks. They have merchandise of all kinds labeled with Bucky's. They have merchandise that is not Bucky's. It is absolutely wild and the amount of people in there is absurd. So we had a little bit of fun just wandering around inside of the store seeing what it is all about. They have everything from home decor to seasonal decorations and then they had these giant meat sandwiches. But this place is unlike any other gas station I've ever been to. Surprisingly, we left without actually buying anything. We didn't even get gas. We literally just made this stop to make this stop. So that was a lot of fun. And once we got back in the car, we just kept driving. We ended up seeing a sign for the Harlan Sanders Museum. So we thought, well, that doesn't look like it's too far off the road. We'll take a little side trip and we ended up finding that. Who doesn't want to see the birthplace of Harlan Sanders? I mean, the man made famous chicken. So we popped off the highway and we ran in there. It is not very big. It's a little museum. And basically they've got some of the things behind glass. You can go, you can order in there. It's a very small little space that you order. Then they've got tables set up and they also have what the motel room would have looked like at that time so you can see what it would have looked like and then they've got also a section where you can see what the kitchen would have been set up like this is what a motel room would have looked like attractive restrooms oh he went above normal quality white tile and high fi high-end fixtures Branded towels. Look at the tile floor, Liam. Very vintage. They've even got the music on the radio there. September 1940. Look, there is no cell phones. Of course there was yeah, no cell phones. Look at the telephone on there. Can you imagine a life without cell phones and iPads, Liam? Yeah. And then they've just got memorabilia and different KFC buckets throughout the years. It was very fascinating. It was a, it was a nice little stop. It's not far from the highway, so it's a decent place just to pop off, especially if you are hungry. You can hop in there and grab something to eat. This is the original kitchen, cafe kitchen. So you've got your dishwasher. They've even got borax. He invented a three-handed clock so that the extra minute hand was positioned about nine minutes behind the normal minute hand. So that he could time how long the chicken had been in for. The town it's in, Corbin, is really not very big. 
but we didn't spend a lot of time there. We, after the museum, hopped back on the highway and just kept on going. So as we were driving, I decided that I would really like to see Pigeon Forge and a little bit of the Great Smoky Mountains. So I got on the internet. Originally, I was going to book Margaritaville. My son was not that interested in visiting the Margaritaville. So I remembered that they had the Christmas Inn and uh, I'm actually really really excited about booking that so I ended up booking a two queen room there with a balcony there was not much difference in price between the balcony rooms and and the rooms with just windows so I booked a courtyard view there now I did get a discount on this room because they are redoing the outdoor pool they're putting in a lazy river and pool section so the outdoor pool was not open when we visited they did have the indoor pool open which was lovely but wow is this Christmas Inn ever beautiful from the outside it is more than I ever expected reviews online have people really raving this inn, so I was very excited and just to preface this we have a Santa's Village in Ontario and when you visit there the theming is very Santa you know snow snowflakes snowmen candy canes, the very whimsical parts of Christmas. So going in, this is sort of what I expected out of the Christmas Inn. And uh, what I do need to remember is that Pigeon Forge is in the Bible Belt. So that is an important factor when you are visiting this Christmas Inn. When you walk in, it is absolutely beautiful with lots of wood accents. The ceiling is wood. The floor is a nice warm wood. The carpets and the decor are very red and green. It is big and beautiful. There is a giant fireplace when you first come in. On the other side of that, they've got bells. Santa comes out and he does a story time and he plays the guitar. It seemed that most of the people we met, they were the grandparents bringing their grandchildren. There was some multi-generational families there. Everybody seemed to be having a really good time. It is a beautiful inn. Check-in was no problem. They were lovely. Our room with the balcony was very clean. It was comfortable. Okay, this is my first look at the Christmas Inn two queen room with a balcony. We should be looking out over the courtyard and it is fantastic first of all so we got here at the perfect time the chimes are going off it was amazing uh, we've got these velvet throws on our beds this is my pillow i brought it silent night pillows a wreath above the bed and and guess what the what best, the best part here they have hershey's for you when you, when you oh yeah it. we'll take a look at that so their artwork all has a Christmas theme obviously so we've got a bunny in the snow over here we've got red a red chair red curtains this picture over here 
also Christmas themed. Got some, it's difficult to see. A snow scene with a lovely house. It's very cool in here as well. And then they've given us some Hershey kisses. One for each. So Barbara is the person taking care of our room. We've got the TV. And above the TV, there's a Christmas tree and some reindeer. Well, we got my chocolate. Oh, you can turn the tree on and off with a foot switch. Oh, extra blankets. I love that. And then over here, we've got a mirror, a place to put our luggage, which we've already sort of dropped our luggage. Got a wreath over our coffee maker here. Got a microwave and a little mini fridge. And then just some storage ironing board. Let's see what else is in here. Some hangers. Oh, there's your iron up top. Lovely. So the carpet is green. The bedding is red. The curtains are red. So they've gone with the green and red themes. We've got some artwork over here that looks very Christmassy as well. Let's go see what's in the bathroom. I did hear that they also theme up the washroom. So pretty standard looking shower. We've got some... Oh, they do theme up the washroom. Shampoo and conditioner over there in the corner. Oh, cute. Yeah. My toilet lid is up, so they're telling you that it has been cleaned. And there's some poinsettias on the wall. Let's see, what's our soap dish? Believe in the magic of the season. Too cute. They've also got this one here, matching. Isn't that cute? Some extra, I would assume those are pool towels over there. One's for you. Thanks, bud. I got a Hershey kiss. Now, in the room, they do say that they sell the mattresses and the pillows, so if you really enjoy those mattresses, you can purchase them for yourself. It is quite comfortable. It was firm, and then when you sat on it, it, it kind of softened up a little bit. The pillows were lovely. I cannot complain about anything like that. Our balcony overlooked the fire pits below. That was beautiful. The snowflakes on the ground at night changed color. Down there, there's also some picture opportunities where you can stick your face into the little elf or the snowman or whatever's down there. You could also write letters to Santa and on our floor actually each floor was themed differently and on our floor you could write a letter to those serving the country. So I thought that was pretty neat. The whole place sort of has a very gingerbread vibe also like the, the building outside. It is incredible. There are lights outside even in the daytime. It is all lit up. They've got these giant wreaths. It is just beautiful. I'm very happy we went. This place is super unique and very whimsical. All right, so we're going to go out and explore a little bit of the hotel before we head out and find something to eat, and then we'll probably call it a night. We might do the pool if we have enough time, but uh, everything looks really, really cool. There is quite a bit of wood accents throughout this hotel along with the stone the red the green we're gonna check out every floor we are on the fourth floor miss oh wow so this is the third floor is lobby this the breakfast, breakfast level? no oh it's going to the next one they've got the gnome level here Very cute. Okay. There's Santa in the corner. Level two. We 
gotta check out this area. Level two is the one where. Um, oh yeah, the lobby. Is down. So we gotta go down to level one. Oh look, they do theme the stairwell. Oh yeah, they do. But it but, is right by the doorway. It's a polar bear theme. Isn't and he down, cute? Down here there's also more. Okay, yeah. we're gonna go down there. You yeah. can get all of your yeah. tourist attraction. Yeah. Pamphlets. Believe, it says believe, and there's more of the Christmas decorations. Oh. Hello there, elves, if you're alive. I wonder if there's like a scavenger hunt or something. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if that's like an actual elf. Like one of Santa's actual elves, or, or if it's just like a decoration. I bet it's just a decoration. There is a guy under the stairs. That's creepy. Bro. Wow. <laughs> Hello, Hawaiian Santa. Oh my god. He's Hawaiian. I don't want to get too close to him in case he's like motion activated or something. It's Santa in the summer. I guess it pays to go down the back ways, eh? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's the indoor pool. The first. Okay, let's go see the pool area. Awesome. There's even Santa in here, in the heat. And it looks like that. It's gonna be the lazy river and the pool. Very cool. Please do not ride me. So this floor is the elf floor. Can you like not look? That's Santa's suite right there. Room five oh eight. Wonder what that looks like. I bet it's pretty nice in there. All right, let's go back down to our room. Yeah. So across the street, we ended up walking over to a restaurant named Puckett, which also had a, kind of an interesting concept. It was sort of like a barbecue picnic style, but it is one of those restaurants where you walk in and there is a giant menu up behind uh, a person standing at a cash register. It's only the second time in my life that I've ever actually visited a restaurant like this where you order from a giant menu and then you seat yourself. So it was interesting. It was funny to watch all of the people walk in and become very confused, sort of like us. We walked in, we weren't sure what to expect. It, it appears to be a sit down restaurant, which it is, but you seat yourself and you also order yourself. Somebody doesn't come over and take your order. Although they do have a server come to you and uh, just keep checking in on you, which was, which was really nice. The inside of this restaurant was decorated really neat. It was very rustic and our food came out almost immediately. Although it's important to know if you do have gluten sensitivities or allergies, this is not necessarily the best restaurant for you. There was not a lot of options on the menu and it was basically a gluten sensitive menu. Most of the things are fried in the same oil, so they cannot guarantee that there is no gluten involved in all of the product. So I ordered some nachos. They were very basic nachos. There was absolutely no vegetables on them. It had a bunch of sauces. I think it was barbecue sauce and some other sauces. That's really all that was on there other than cilantro. Now the flavor of them was really good, but if you're looking for something substantial, this was not the place. I'm not quite sure what to do in, in terms of tipping in this kind of a restaurant because it's mostly self-serve, but you do get the server coming back to check on you. So I did leave him a pretty good tip and then we headed on out of there. So all in all, this was a really good stay in Pigeon Forge for us. It was our first time being in Pigeon Forge. It reminds me a lot of Clifton Hill and Niagara Falls, which is really the only basis I have to compare this to. Uh, it's, it's like Clifton Hill on steroids. It's bigger, it is brighter, there are multiple mini putts, there are lots of go-karting options, there's little carnivals everywhere. It's absolutely insane. It was, it was much more than I had expected. There's lots of restaurants and hotels, so 
you have your choice of hotel to stay at. Now the Christmas Inn was something that I really wanted to stay in, so I'm glad that we did it, but it is definitely one and done for us. That will be it. And uh, next time we visit, we'll check out something maybe a little bit less themed. Cheesy tourist attractions are your thing. Pigeon Forge is definitely for you. Now we did also drive a little bit into the Smoky Mountains and it's quite beautiful. I'm really glad that we did pop in to visit, but this is a very short road trip for us. So we didn't have too much time to stay. I'm glad that we did the things that we did while we were there. And I hope that you enjoy the Christmas Inn with us. Thank you everybody for coming along. If you like this vlog please give it a like and subscribe you can hit that bell button we're going to be on this road trip for quite some time so follow along with us and uh, we'll see you guys all tomorrow Santa's hands are in comparison to his body. He's also got glitter on his face. <laughs>